Hermann Fold, discoverer of fertilization and founder of the marine laboratory in Villefranche-sur-Mer, was born to a family of Swiss bankers in 1845. Both of his parents died when he was very young. At age 10, he went to school in Geneva under the supervision of the renowned biologist, Édouard Claparède. Following Claparède's advice, Hermann Foll pursued his studies with the best biologists of the time in Heidelberg, Berlin, and Jena. When he was 21, he accompanied the famous zoologist Haeckel in his exploration of the flora and fauna of the Canary Islands and the coast of Africa. Foll soon developed a passion for sailing and collecting planktonic organisms such as this tinophore, Barrowe. Back in Europe, he chose to study the anatomy and development of Barrowe and published his thesis in medicine on this subject. In 1871, Hermann Fall stayed in a villa near the port of Nice in order to study the plankton of the Bay of Villefranche-sur-Mer. Fall was inspired by his mentor, Karl Vogt, who had described to him the extraordinary diversity and abundance of plankton in this area. Foll married, started a family, and traveled between his house in Geneva, a villa in Messina, where he installed his laboratory, and Villefranche-sur-Mer. In Geneva, Foll taught embryology and continued his research on fertilization in mollusks, starfish, and sea urchins. In 1877, for the first time, he observed fertilization in starfish. He showed that the spermatozoid fuses with the egg and thus transmits its nucleus. This discovery constitutes the foundation for our understanding of heredity. In 1878, Foll moved his laboratory by boat from Messina to Villefranche-sur-Mer. There he met Jules Barrois, a young professor from Lille. Together they created a laboratory in the Tower of the Lazare, the quarantine quarters of the military port. Charles Darwin, one month before he died in 1882, sent a letter to Barrois encouraging him to establish a marine laboratory in Villefranche-sur-Mer. On the model of those created in Roscoff and Naples, Foll and Barrois soon moved their lab to an old prison for galley slaves, then called the Russian House, because it was used by the Russian Marine during their stays in the Bay of Villefranche. Foll and Barrois shared the marine station with a Russian biologist, Alexei Korotnev, and welcomed many visiting scientists. But following some serious quarrels, Herman Fall was expelled from the laboratory. This major setback did not stop him from making plans to establish an oceanographic laboratory in the harbor of Nice. He continued research from his yacht, the Amphiaster. He used a diving suit to observe marine animals in their natural environment. He also invented equipment to record propagation of light in water. In 1891, he purchased a new boat, the Astor, and commissioned by the French government, set sail to study sponges off the coast of Tunisia. After embarking at Le Havre, Herman Fall put in at Benaudet, then disappeared mysteriously. His disappearance at age 46 has never been explained, despite serious investigations conducted to clarify rumors that the ship's crew threw him overboard. Today, the marine station of Villefranche-sur-Mer is a dynamic research center where biologists pursue Fall's explorations of marine organisms and fertilization.